name is Darlene McQueen, um, account executive here at RCS. Um, and yeah, this should be pretty quick. Um, and then we'd love to open it up for questions um, at the end of this. All right, so here we go. Um, so setting uh, steps for creating a new employee. So um, first of all, you're gonna wanna create your system security codes. We'll take a look at that. Um, if it's a point of sale user, you're gonna wanna create your point of sale security codes, um, as well as create the users um, uh, and then associate the necessary codes. Um, I'm gonna look at, we're gonna take a look at menu editor because you may or may not know this, but you can actually create a custom folder for your employees. And in that folder, you can add um, key training documents or maybe key reports that they need to have access to. So we'll take a look at menu editor and kind of show you how, how you can do things like that. All right, let's jump into CounterPoint. So this is CounterPoint. So I'm logged in as a manager here. So I'm seeing everything that is available to me. Um, so you can actually uh, go to your setup functions uh, to create your users. So you're gonna go to setup and systems. Okay, and I don't know if you know this, but you don't have to know where anything is in CounterPoint. You can just simply hit the magnifying glass and type in users. So now I can actually get to my users from here. So nice feature. Um, so this is, this is a user record. Um, and if I'm gonna create a new user, I'm just gonna hit my plus button and then just start that process. So let me go ahead and hit my plus button and we'll create a new user. Um, we'll call it. Okay, we're gonna copy from a user. So this, this is going to be a manager. So I'm going to copy the manager profile here. Type in his name. Okay. Um, what is his employee number? So add that. Um, what department is he with? Um, so we'll say sales. And what is his work group? So it's defaulting, um, the one that I have listed here. Um, is he a sales rep? Um, does he have a commission structure? Um, what is his security group? So these are the two things that are typically created in advance. So your system securities, he's a, in a manager group. Um, and then point of sale securities, I have him in the manager group. Let me go ahead and show you kind of what, what that is. So if I hit my magnifying glass here, um, what you're going to do before you create your users is you're going to create your system security and your point of sale security. So these are, this is what I've created thus far. So I have a manager and point of sale. So I'm going to, uh, let me go ahead and show you what's behind the scenes. So if I hit edit again, these are my authorizations for my security codes. Um, this is where you're gonna associate your menu so this is, happens to be a menu for a manager. Um, and then your authorization codes. Um, and then I have this page as well as uh, my transaction dates and my time card info, okay? Um, and then uh, the menu uh, is what is going to be unique for that manager. So this is where you would go to do your menu codes. And I'm gonna skip that for now because I wanna show you um, a little bit more functionality there. But for now, we're gonna give them the basic manager menu, okay? All right, so the next step is your point of sale security codes. And so here you would add your point of sale security codes. If I go into edit here. This is what um, this is what I'm giving the manager authorization to do so to do in point of sale. So again, I can check whatever uh, he or she has authorization to do under tickets, under line items. Can I edit lines? Can I override prices, etc.? Ticket totals, override credit limits, and again, I'm a manager, so I have everything checked here. Um, but if I, if I don't want this particular manager to be able to override um, totals, I can, I can uncheck that. Orders, layaways, et cetera. Um, so this is where you will set up your point of sale security codes. 
Okay. And again, this is typically set up in advance. Um, you're just going to be associating it to the new user. So when you start out, you want to set up um, security codes for typically point of sale user, maybe someone in purchasing, administrative, managers, supervisors, and then one um, you can even have it like a super POS. So someone who has basically most of the standard point of sale access, but maybe they can override um, a price if need be or something like that. Okay. Um, you'll also set up passwords. Now, unfortunately, I have passwords turned off on my demo database. Otherwise, I have to um, continually stay on top of it. And it's a demo database, so it's, it's okay. But for PCI compliance purposes, you'll want to make sure that you're creating passwords. Um, so you'll set up their password. You can even assign a card. So we have employee swipe cards, which I highly recommend because the passwords are PCI compliant. So they're complex passwords and they need to be changed every 90 days. Um, so we do sell and we have um, um, cards on hand where you can actually assign a card to a user. So when they come in, you'll give them their card. Um, if they have to close down their point of sale station, to help a cashier, um, that's no problem. They can do that. And then when they come back, they simply um, scan their card or swipe their card um, and they'll be able to get back into the point of sale system. Okay. Um, and then here's the contact details. So um, you can keep full, um, address information, um, email information, phone numbers, uh, and so forth on your, on your employees. Um, okay, I guess I didn't add him, so um, we'll have to go with a user, <laughs> another user that I have here. Um, so let's, let's actually look at menu code. So if you have a new user that you're setting up, and you just trained, trained them on the system, you may want to provide them with it with some additional documentation on their menu. So as you can see here, I actually set up a separate menu for my manager. Um, and then on my managers, I have, um, they can launch Excel, they have key reports that they need access to. And then I actually added a training manual. Um, and it basically is just launching a PDF. And you can do things like you can launch, you can launch videos as well um, from the customer manual. Um, but in this case, as an example, I wanna show you how you can just launch a training document from within their folder. Um, so I set up a training document here, and then I'll show you where to do that. So I'm gonna go into, I'm gonna search for menu codes. Okay. Um, <coughs> and I'll find the managers. I want to give you an example first. Let's go into point of sale and I'm going to show you the difference here. So this is my menu editor. This is everything you can have um, on your menu with CounterPoint. So when you're setting up a user, a point of sale user, you don't necessarily want them to have access to all of this. Um, so um, what you'll do is you'll give them access to what you want them to have access to. So in this case, my point of sale users have access to um, tickets and drawers, um, and then I set up a training folder for my point of sale user as well. Okay, so that's all they have access to. So let me go into uh, the manager, and then I'll show you how we just added that training document. So I'm going to go into menu editor, okay, um, and then um, let me just, um, so this is the training document, okay, and it was pretty, so if I wanted to add a, um, so let me just get rid of it or delete it and re-add it. All right, so if I wanna add another, um, just an external program, whether it's a video or a document, I'll come here and then I'll say new and it's new menu item. Okay, so this is gonna be training manual. Um, so now it's training manual. I could add an image or a button image. Um, it is an external program, but you can add um, 
custom maintenance, out on the fly, um, custom programs, external programs. And then now I'm gonna go and find that training document. And now I've, I've just added that training manual to, um, to the manager's view. So again, you can um, add multiple documents, videos, launch external programs, um, all in that um, manager's menu. Now, if I want to give a manager access to something uh, unique, let's say in inventory, um, if I go to reports, um, I can give them access to just about anything I want here by just simply dragging it over to my reports folder. Um, and then it will add that report into their view. Or maybe I want to add that specific report. Let's see. Um, over my merchandise analysis report into the custom folder. So now I've done that. So now it's going to be in the custom folder here. So if I hit my close button here and I hit save, and I'll save that again. So now if I go into the managers folder, I now have my training manual um, and then my merchandise analysis report. Um, and that folder is unique based on my login. Okay. Um, and that's, that's pretty much what I had prepared uh, to show today. So Ryan, if we want to open it up to questions. Anybody have any questions out there? Um, is there a limit to the number of users you can add? No, there is not. Okay. And you can assign users to different locations, correct? I think I saw that. Yes. In there. Yes, okay. Yep. Uh, pretty straightforward. A lot of um, it's nice to add training in there, and um, videos would be nice. Um, you could even add our YouTube videos if you had a if you wanted to train an employee on one of our videos yes. that we have on our YouTube channel. Actually, that that's a good point. Um, you can um, add videos. Um, I think it's important also to point out um, that we do have um, training videos on our YouTube channel. So if you're interested in, you know, pretty much this will be stored on the YouTube channel, but there's a number of different videos out there that would be uh, applicable for new employees so they can get to know CounterPoint. Yeah, feel free to use our videos. Um, thanks for your time today, everybody. Hopefully you got some good information out of this. And as always, please feel free to reach out with any questions to your account manager, Darlene, myself. We're here to help. Great. Thanks, everyone. Have a great thanks. day. Thanks, Darlene. Bye.